Hello there, my beautiful, wonderful, and prosperous viewers. It is I, Keish, and I want to say that I hope you're having a great day. If not, maybe after you watch this video, you'll have a great day. And I also want to say thank you for tuning in again. If you're first time here, hopefully you come back. And if not, hey, at least you got some value from this video. So today's topic is consistency. Now, I got this idea. I've been listening to um, Bob Proctor. And he has like this everyday six minute success things on what is it success that sticks results that stick and every day is a new topic right every day so i've been listening to it for i think it's 14 days now yeah 14 days now and one of the ones he talked about last week was consistency and that's very powerful because that's what we need in order to accomplish our goals right because we all have goals we all have somewhere, have somewhere we want to be in life right and we all know that what we are right now is not our best. So what are we going to do to get towards that goal? And that is to be consistent with your actions. So like me, one of my goals, I have, I have a lot. One of my goals is to lose some weight because I know that for me to do certain tasks, I need to be a little lighter. So one of my goals is to lose weight. So I can't say, man, I want to lose weight. But then I go and get on the treadmill Monday Tuesday pass, Wednesday pass, two weeks pass, and I'm like, man, I need to lose some weight. But I'm not doing that consistent action of working out, whether it's three times a week, five times a week, 30 minutes a day. I'm not being consistent with that action, so I can't expect to lose weight, right? So when you choose a goal, we're going to go with working out for one. You got to have a set, see, your action plan, right? Your action plan, your task that you have to complete to achieve a particular goal. So working out, one of mine is at least 30 minutes a day, do some type of workout. Whether if I'm going to the gym, whether it's if I have everything I need at home. So whether it's I'm getting on the treadmill, getting on the bike, doing some weights, whatever it is, or going for a walk, but it's too cold right now. So I'm not going for a walk outside because I hate the cold weather in case you don't know. So I do everything I can inside. And I do that for 30 minutes a day. And of course you take a day off. But... I notice what I need to do. So I have to be consistent in that if I want to see results. So I noticed once I started being more consistent in my actions and doing my workouts, eating a little better, a little, because it, it takes time because I love sweets. So it takes a little time, but I know that being consistent with that, I'm going to get to the weight that I would like to be at. And that's how it is with you. Whatever your goal is, you got to be consistent with it. Whether it's to one day get promoted in your job, whether it's to one day branch off and be able to retire from your job and start your own business, whatever it is, you got to have these set goals in place and you got to be consistent. You can't just do it once and think that everything is going to fly. No, that's not the way it works. You have, I always talk about the book, Think and Grow Rich, maybe because I watch a lot of Bob Proctor too, but I talk about the book, Think and Grow Rich. In their book, it talked about, was it Ford? The guy who did the, the cars for it, right? And it took him tries after tries after tries to get to that car working, right? He didn't just give up that first time. It was like, oh, well, it is what it is. Everybody's laughing at me. I can't do it. Oh, well, no. He stayed consistent at it until he achieved that result that he was looking for. And that's the same thing with you. So I don't know who needs to hear this right now. That's why I felt I needed to make this video. But whoever needed to hear this, you need to start being more consistent with your actions. So whatever goal it is that you want to accomplish, be consistent. Don't just start it and don't finish it. For 2020, we're going to start finishing everything that we start. Yes. So before you start something, you need to know everything that it's going to take to get that accomplished. And we're going to accomplish that, right? We starting now. So I'm saying 2020 because right now it's 2019, November. But we're starting now and we're carrying it into 2020. We're not going to wait for the first of the year to start saying, I want to do this for 2020. These are my new year, new me goals. No, we're going to do that thing right now. So after you finish watching this video, I want you to go ahead, write down your goals, write down at least two. And then out under that, write down five actions that you must take every day. Okay, I'm going to give you three, three actions that you must take every day to accomplish that goal. So I hope this video has helped you. 
and I hope that you have a wonderful and prosperous day. Wherever you're watching this at right now, go ahead and click the like button, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, let me know what are uh, one of your goals that you're going to accomplish now and going to carry it into 2020. So have an awesome and prosperous day.